Hi, I'm Webby Gold from Keen on the Market. I'm here to talk to you today about trading the S&P minis using the Market Web's proprietary indicator. On uh, on Saturday, June thirteenth, I did a webinar and I and I put my analysis out for the S&Ps that I was expecting it to get up to twenty one eighteen um, over the course of this current week that we're in. We did hit that today, and uh, I'll be talking to you about uh, trading during the day uh, with the S&P minis, as well as just how I was able to actually pick pretty much the high of the day um, a few days ahead of time, which is really neat. Um, so I want to start here, and what we're looking at here is the Globex session of the S&P minis, and you can see how we kind of floundered around for a while, got down to the very first what we call the venom lines, and this is these are the targets on the outside. So if I were to go short, and there's a short signal right there, one of my targets would be the venom lines. And uh, you know if it's not going to go to the next one, maybe I'll take my profits there. What we started to get in the globex session were buy signals, three in a row, and as we finally ended the globex session about to start the market on the first five minute bar another buy signal as we break outside of value and get past even the first target venom line as we progress throughout the day we can see that that buy signal worked extremely well taking us up to the uh, fourth venom line from the value area before pulling back and i'm just going to go ahead and take us all the way over just so we can see that and I want to zoom in because I think it's very, very important to see just how well the Venom lines work. And let me adjust this here. So we had a buy signal um, on the first five minute bar here. And notice every time we hit one of these lines, and these act as support and resistance lines, we kind of consolidate around that line each time. So this one, we consolidated, then we stepped up to the next one, consolidated, stepped up to the next one, consolidated finally slowly getting our way up to the next one consolidated a bit there uh, and got a little bit above it but pretty much ended the day around this uh, fourth venom line so it's really nice to have those price targets there knowing where we're gonna where we're likely to pause um, and you can use these and what i like to do is bring my stops just below um, these lines so if i got long here I would have my stop pretty much right down in here uh, inside of value. As we move up to the next venom line, I'd move my stop to below this first one. As we moved up again to the third venom line, I'd move my stop to the second one. As we moved up to the fourth one, I would move my stop to below the third one here and then see if we can go. And as we pulled back and crossed back below this venom line here, then I'd be looking to just take my profits and walk away for the day. That move would constitute uh, from 2097 to 2014 um, is about a 22 point move in the spoos, which is um, uh, over $1,000 per one lot. Um, and that's a really, really nice thing. The market webs work on everything from futures to uh, to equities and ETFs, and uh, I really, really value them for day trading. Now, I want to talk about how I was able to predict. Notice where our high was today, 2118, how I was able to predict that days in the future. Looking at the monthly, so on the daily chart here on the SPOOs using the market webs, what we actually get are the value areas for the month of June. What we were look, just looking at was the value area only for today. This is for the entire month. Now, on the 13th, when I did the webinar, we were we had just closed right here down at 2083. We had taken a really big downturn. And everyone was kind of wondering, OK, what does this mean? Is the market going lower into next week? And I made the prediction that actually we were going to go higher to the 2018 level. And what the what I was looking at here was, A, this buy signal that came in. Um, as well as support coming in at the bottom of value, which is to be expected. And therefore, when we have this kind of move from trading outside and below value into value, we'll come down and test the bottom of value at least once, but there's an 80% chance that we go to the other side. So this was on, uh, so at the end of the day, Saturday, and again, we were looking at this bar and we were down in the 2080s. I said, nope, 2018, 2118 is going to be our target. So that's uh, what I put. That's exactly where we went today. 
and uh, using the market webs allowed me to know exactly where we'd go. Also today we can see that that was the third Venom line. Here we're looking at the value area for the week. That's for just this week. A nice buy signal here that came in on Tuesday and took us again 80% chance that we go to the top of value and we did that this morning. So from Tuesday to Thursday, which is another nice hold, um, even through FOMC, more to the upside got to the third venom line as a target again just moving my stop losses along with it under some protective uh, uh, target values and there we go so i hope you uh if you're not using the market webs yet i hope you give it a chance i think it's an invaluable tool and it really really has changed my trading for the better so i wish you all great trading thanks